Hate. <coughs> hey dolls. So today I have a beauty or makeup haul for you guys from Shop hush.com they are a website that carries various different brands of makeup from uh, brands that are a little bit more affordable such as elf la colors clean color uh, brands like that and then they also have brands that are a little bit higher up uh, like Too Faced urban decay and a few others like coastal Sense. and so today I have a un an unboxing haul for you guys so it's like a haul slash unboxing and I'm gonna go ahead and rip this baby on open so I like this website a lot because sometimes you can get uh, all your favorite different brands kind of conveniently in one place whereas if you go somewhere like Ulta or Sephora yeah they have a lot of different brands in store but not necessarily like elf or LA colors or you know just the super affordable brands like that and I'm gonna ask the company if I have a coupon code or not. Uh, if I do, it will be uh, in the description box below. So definitely check there. If I have one, I may not, I have no idea. Just check the description box because I might be able to save you guys some money. So here's the little invoice thing. Then we have some, I just stabbed myself in the cheek with this box. We have some bubble wrap in here and then you can see the cute things starting to show through Ooh. <gasps> okay I appreciate this even more because I've ordered from Ulta okay and Ulta rarely ever bubble wraps anything like I have not gotten an Ulta package where things were actually bubble wrapped like maybe there might be one piece kind of thrown in there but as far as like individually wrapping the products they don't do that and this company was kind enough to actually bubble wrap things so they don't get ruined in shipping. So thank you so much for that, Hush, because that's amazing. <laughs> so before I get into the bubble wrap stuff, I'll go ahead and show you guys. And then they made like a cute little plastic bag package of these items. So I had to have these, they are so cute. These are Pokemon face masks. There is Bulbasaur, Charmander, Pikachu, and Squirtle. I think they actually look like the characters as well when you put them on. So this one is green tea and it helps with your pores. This one is a grapefruit and it helps with brightening. Uh, this one is honey and it helps moisturize. And this one is Lotus and it hydrates. So they all do different things and they're all different characters. Very, very, very cute. I'm so excited to try those out. And then there's something else in here. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at the little sticker. It just says hush, shophush.com and it's pink. So you guys have seen these silly sponges that go around, that have been going around the internet for quite a while that you can apply your foundation with. I got one of those a while back and I didn't really like it too much because it was really hard to get in the corners of my nose right here but when I saw this one I thought this would work a lot better it's a silly sponge but it is heart shaped and I feel like this little crevice right here can really help get right in there in where your nose is so I'm really hoping, because that was the only struggle that I had with the original Silly Sponge, was that it had like a weird shape to it, so I couldn't get in those corners of my nose and get product in there. So I feel like this will really truly help. And I did forget to mention that all of the products mentioned in this video that I got will be linked in the description box below, so you guys can get your hands on them yourself. Okay, next up, I'm just gonna go randomly in here. This is the NYX Wonder Stick. Uh, I love this thing. I have repurchased it probably like four or five times and I love it so much. You guys have probably seen it in tutorials before on my channel, but it is just like a duo, like two-sided stick. The one side has the concealer and the other side has the contour. But yes, the Wonder Stick is so good. I love this. Hands down, a favorite. Okay, then these right here, I believe. Oh, okay, so this says Flame Red and Barbie Doll Power. And I believe that these are the lipsticks that have the flowers in them. Ooh, it looks pretty. 
Okay, so here is the tube. It's just like a chromey red. Why is there a button? Oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever. Why am I so intrigued by this? Okay, so you could see at the top, there's actually a button and when you push it, it like ejects the product. How cool is that? Okay, so this is, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. This smells like a lollipop. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So as you can see, this has a flower in it, a little pink flower, along with some gold flecks. And I know you guys have probably seen these lipsticks before if you watch like review videos on and stuff on them. These aren't the original ones, but these are the tinted lippies they are, they're clear and they have the flowers in them and then they change color they call them mood changing lipsticks but really they change depending on like the heat of your lips and they're just kind of like temperature temperature tinted i don't know how else to explain it so in theory anyone who tries this on is going to get a different shade result because their body is maybe their lips are maybe a different temperature or something like that to cause the product to give off a different tint which is really 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 cool and i love i'm gonna i'm just gonna start like playing with this I'm, it's like clicking a pin in school and then the teacher yells at you to stop because it's annoying. I would just like click my lipstick all day. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> then this one is in the shade Flame Red. So it's basically the exact same thing, I believe, except the flower on the inside of this one is red instead of pink. Okay, next up we have some lip stuff. So there are two lip scrubs right here and of course they are sealed. This one is is oh, what brand are these these are beauty treats brand and this one is peach scented oh my gosh it smells so good i just want to like check the consistency of it so i just oozed it out it is tinted and it is grainy so if you guys have never used a lip scrub before it feels kind of like you're putting sugar on your lips mixed with like honey or something like that you can DIY your own lip scrubs with like sugar and honey and it creates like this paste that you can kind of scrub your lips with but this smells so good so here you guys can kind of see the texture of it a little bit you can see it's got like the little sugar crystals or whatever in there and you just can exfoliate your lips before you put on your lipstick and all of your dry skin will be washed away i got another one of those sugar lip scrubs and this one is strawberry scented so peach and strawberry in one of my last videos you guys were commenting about how my arms were darker color than my face yes i did a self tanner and i haven't been able to get another shade of foundation just yet so i'm still using my like original shades uh yeah uh, hopefully i think i got a foundation that's in here that's maybe like a shade or two darker than my normal and i think it is this right here we're about to see oh i just popped into my ear so this is the milani conceal and perfect and this is a shade darker you can even tell just by looking at my face it's like a shade darker too um i've never used this foundation before in my life let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section below but i'm gonna go ahead and see you can already tell it's a little bit darker which is awesome because i needed a new foundation this is so full coverage oh my gosh look at this look at this look how like that is a lot of product like i barely even i did one pump and that's how much product came out I'm very excited about this and you can see it's darker so woo! I'm gonna go ahead and open up all those lippies and I'll be right back to swatch them all for you guys okay so there are four madly matte lip glosses here by clean color uh, this one right here is in the shade there are no shades on them there's just numbers that is so weird because on the site they had shade number or shade names they don't say it on the packaging, do they? Probably. Did I take it off? Oh my gosh, they do. They say it on the packaging. Okay, so let me see if I can figure out. I don't even know which one's which here, you guys. 
I wish I would have looked at the packaging first. Usually they're printed on the bottom, but apparently Clean Color hasn't gotten the memo about that yet. Anyway, uh, one of them is in Bubblegum, one of them is in Moonlight, one of them is Doll. Go figure why I picked those names. One of these is Bubblegum and one of these is Doll. The two pink ones are those two shades. And then there is this one right here. I think this might be Moonlight or maybe the metallic one is Moonlight. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all these guys for you. This one right here is a more kind of brown shade. Ooh, these are a lot more sheer than I thought they were gonna be. Definitely have to build these up, but here is the brown one. And it's kind of, kind of smells like tanning lotion, which I don't really hate that. I kind of like that smell, so I don't mind it. Okay, and then here is the metallic one. I'm not exactly sure what the shade is on this but it is, ooh, it's like a, ooh, this is actually really pretty. Okay, so it looks like a greenish gray metallic, but it has like hints of maybe like a rose gold shimmer to it. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but there's that one. And then these are the two pink shades. I don't know which is which, but one of them, oh, this one, whatever it is, is beautiful. It's like a corally kind of shade so pretty this is either bubblegum or doll one of the two and then this one is a little bit of a deeper rosy color i think this one is probably i think this one's probably bubblegum or doll i'm i'm not quite sure they are pretty similar though so either one is really pretty there you can see this one's just a little bit darker than the other one and this right here is the Peel and Seal Tinted Eyebrow Gel, which, have you guys seen the peel off eyebrows? Supposedly you like paint this stuff on in the shape of that you want your eyebrow to be. You wait until it dries and then you peel it off and it's like your eyebrows are stained on and like wiping them or smudging them like doesn't exist. Like they just stay put and they're waterproof and all that stuff. So this is the clean color brand. I'm not sure how good it will be, but I am very, very, very excited to try it because I've been wanting to try those peel off eyebrows for like ever. Okay. And then I had been wanting to get one of these forever. I love Tawny Molly. I pronounce it Tawny Molly. It might be Tony Molly. I'm not 100% sure. I pronounce it Tawny Molly. But I have been wanting to get one of these adorable little bunny mists or like even the uh, the lip glosses for such a long time. And these uh, little Pokemon masks are also the Tawny Molly brand. But this is a moist mist. And this one is scented. I don't remember which scent this is. But I think... I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is just a face mist. Or is it, because it says moist mist, I feel like it's a face spray. If I break out in hives, I blame myself. Hmm, I'm not burning anywhere, so that's good. <laughs> it smells good, I like it. it. I basically just got it for like the aesthetic photo reasons though. This will look so cute with like other products displayed for Instagram photos. And then the last things we have are in this bubble wrap. We have three items. Let's see if my camera battery can hold out. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Yay. So this is the brand JCat Beauty, I think. It is the You Glow Girl Baked Highlight Highlighter in the shade Pink Goddess. And it looks like this. It doesn't look so pink on camera. It looks more bronzy. So it doesn't really have a smell. It just kind of smells like the packaging, honestly. So let's just do a finger swipe. Oh yeah, the color payoff is pretty good. It's pretty pigmented looking. Ooh, and it's really pretty when it's on. Can you see it? I don't know if you can really see it. It's, it's more of a bronzy like shimmer rather than pink, which is weird because this shade is Pink Goddess, but it has a lot of really fine glitter in it or really fine shimmer, which I love and I'm excited about. And I 
am crazy about my highlighter like I have to have it loads and loads and loads as you can clearly tell so I really hope I like it two more things one more thing is a glowy highlight palette um, this is a uh, Oakland is that the brand Oakland I'm not exactly sure um, but it is the glowing palette shimmers kit and they had a summer one and a nighttime one summer something and moonlight I don't remember but this was like the the nighttime one so here you can see all of the gorgeous shades there's stardust magic heaven uh, glam and bright diamond shine royal clown royal clown royal crown and precious these are beautiful colors. I am so excited about these two right here. This one is more like a lilac-y shade. And then this one down here has like a pinky lavender tone to it. And I am so excited about all of these. I'm just going to do a real little quick sweep. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I want to drench my face in all of these. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Yeah, there's that palette. I am very, very, very excited about this. I love how the front is like hollow. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Or nowadays, it's unicorn, you guys. Anything hollow is considered unicorn with the trends going on nowadays. Okay, and then the very last thing I got is an eyeshadow palette that just has beautiful colors in it. Since I have dyed my hair pink, I have been wanting to try out and play with brighter, bolder, kind of different colors. Oh my gosh, I just stabbed my fingernail into one of these eyeshadows. We're just gonna act like I didn't do that. We're just gonna act like I'm not the biggest klutz on the face of the planet. <laughs> Here is the neutral side. Just looks like this. Don't mind this one, I stabbed my finger in it. <laughs> but this one just has basic natural shades and then you flip it over and boom, you got all the pretty rainbow colors. I am so excited to play with mainly these shades right here. This lilac and this pink and this deep plum and even this like minty, like vibrant minty green. Let's swatch this neon hot pink and this beautiful purple right here and this beautiful mint blue are you ready i haven't looked yet either is it good are they good do they look nice <gasps> they look so nice <gasps> oh my god i'm so excited about this you guys <gasps> i can't wait to try these okay let's just like swipe them onto the back of my hand okay finger swatching they're very pigmented but swiping swatching and they're a little chalky but you best believe i'm gonna make these things work because they are so pretty oh my goodness and i believe that the brand on this was br i think it stands for something else but there's the front right there and then on the back it actually has a few little application tips which is really really cool and helpful Especially if you are someone who is just starting out with makeup and applying makeup, getting a palette like this is an amazing way to start because you can play with a ton of different colors at a super affordable price without having to go out and buy tons of different palettes and not know which colors are your favorite or which ones you like on yourself the most. This just gives you a quick idea of what they will look like on you before you actually commit to spending lots of money somewhere else. But yes, that is going to wrap it up for my shophush.com haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any of these products in the comment section down below. And I will leave a coupon code if I have one, like I said, in the description box. And with that being said, go check out shophush.com. They have some really good products on there. And I'm so excited to try all of these out. So with that being said, I will talk to you all in my next video. And hopefully next time, my face will match my arms. Until then, <laughs> so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Right. Bye!